starting tonight at 11 o'clock, we're hearing from the young boy who was stuck in a tree last night in Manchester. Firefighters needed the jaws of life to free him. Good evening, I'm Shelley Walcott. And I'm Tom Griffith. Firefighters were already close by when the boy needed that help, but that's actually what got him into the tight spot in the first place. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live from the Manchester Fire Department to tell us more about the story. Mike? Anthony and his friends have climbed this tree many times before, but this time there was a bit of a complication on the way down. Anthony is safely on the ground now, but Monday night there were some tense moments for this nine-year-old when he got stuck in a tree. I was scared that I wouldn't get down at all. He was at his friend's house on Blucher Street in Manchester. The boys saw a fire truck nearby and wanted to know what was going on, so they started climbing. So I tried to get a closer look. I got the, uh, I got a bit of a closer look, but not fully. Anthony tried coming down, but his leg got wedged in between two large limbs, 12 feet in the air. Neighbors flagged down firefighters who were leaving that previous call. I, I was grateful for when they came and when they showed up. Firefighters tried to lift Anthony, but he says that hurt, so they brought in some heavy machinery. They have to use a chainsaw to get this branch down so they can use the jaws of life to free me. Within minutes, it was over. When they used the jaws of life, they had a blanket over me. I didn't really know why they would have a blanket over me, but I, it just felt like I was comfortable and safe. First responders made sure he was okay. I got sent into the ambulance and right now I just feel relieved that I didn't have to go to the hospital. Aside from some minor scrapes and bruises, Anthony says he feels great. His friend couldn't believe it. I was thinking once he got stuck, we're gonna need the firefighters. I knew right away because the way he got stuck. Yeah, it's just a you know childhood thing, you know, climbing a tree and a freak accident, and everything turned out well. And Anthony really says this won't be his last climb. I think I'm really lucky, and I should pay more attention. I'm gonna I'm still climb trees, but I'm gonna do it safely. He's got a great sense of humor and has learned a valuable lesson. Anthony would also like to thank the firefighters here for rescuing him. Live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.